hello. All right, I'm trying to get my iPad to cooperate. There we go. Trying to find it, bring it up here. So hopefully I can see some comments. If I can find it, there it is, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit. Wait for it to catch up. Oh, getting my ties in the water already. That should be pretty good. All right, all right. Let me, let's get started and have a little marbling fun. Happy Good Friday, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Say hello when you pop on. Well, oh, one moment, I forgot one thing. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. How's everyone this evening? Happy Good Friday. If you um, are new, hashtag newbie. And I will take a moment to say hello to you. I will say hello to even if you aren't new. I appreciate everyone being on here. My name is Linda Anderson. I am the owner of Aqueous Silk, and we do water marbling. So I just um, put the water in the tanks, Then I'm working in my garage, and I just found a piece of grass in my tank, so I got that out. I'm just going to try to clear the surface of in, any imperfections, impurities that may be there. That looks pretty good. And what happens is I um, apply paint to the surface of the water, create a design with that paint, and then um, I print it. We're going to do some paper tonight. Um, I'm going to attempt another canvas. And then I have two um, tumblers I'm going to marble. We're gonna play a little bit. I'm gonna try to see if I can get um, some metallic paint on the tumblers. We'll see, it's an experiment. I can always sand them and spray paint them again and start over. So I thought, what the heck? Might as well give it a try. So I hope everyone has had a wonderful Good Friday. It was another busy day at the office for me. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna do my paper and then I'll do the canvas and then I will um, move on to the tumblers. So now the first thing is to pick my paint. paints away and I promptly forget that I need to uh, mix paint and I actually need to order some paint. Let's see, where's my wife? There it is. 
Last time I was so excited about my new white bottle that I used the wrong, wrong paint. It's the little things in life that make it fun. And for me, a nice, clean paint bottle is very exciting. So again, I'm going to just start by putting my base down. And I can start with um, something other than white if I chose to do so. I had to come on a little late tonight. We got off work at, at a good time, but I had to make a few stops on the way home and traffic was crazy. I live about 40 minutes from where I work and after the stops and um, the traffic, it took me two hours to get home. So it was nuts. I really didn't expect it to be that heavy on Good Friday. I know a lot of offices are closed today. Be sure to say hello when you pop on. Again, if there is no live here in this corner, wait till I see the my hand so I make sure I'm pointing to the right place. If there is no live up there in the corner, whoops. I don't know where I'm going. Up in the in the corner, if there's no red live button, I'm not live any longer. This and it would be replay, but if you're watching the replay, you're just as welcome as if you were watching it live. So we're just doing a couple pieces of paper and then, um, like I said, a canvas. We'll see if the canvas works. I got it to work before. This time I'm using a larger canvas. Ooh, this is super runny. And um, I'm anxious to see if I can get it to work. I have an idea about the design that I want to try. We will see if it actually works out. I always have ideas and then it usually takes me a time or two to um, actually get the idea to work properly. I've been busy um, sewing some pillow covers that I marbled the other day. I've got, I almost have them all done. So that was, that's fun. I don't get it to spend enough time with my sewing machine anymore. So that's kind of, I was enjoying it. I'm gonna to try to lay down quite a bit of color. And I think I will just uh, freeform this one. Let's see, I want, again, this is a water marbling. I'm floating, I am floating, uh, Acrylic paint on the surface of the water. Look at that push. So funny how different, different temperatures, different uh, paint color, different uh, humidity levels, and you get some paint that can't behave itself. Oh, you know what? I do need to use the tool for this. This is going to look cool.
My um, water has been used for several times and it's getting a little thin. Usually you want a nice thick consistency. It's a little bit thin, but it's still, as you can see, it's still floating the paint just fine. grabbing the ones for the smaller tanks. And I'm taking the time to wipe the um, the fingers of the comb so they're wooden because I have not yet made my new combs and rakes. I've been so busy with new ideas that I keep forgetting. I tell you, you put me in a different room, you take all this and put it away, and then I'm like, la, 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 la. And I forget that I have other things that, to do that aren't quite as fun as actually creating. But I have tumblers to epoxy, I have uh, pillow covers to sew, I have a quilt to sew, so I'm easily distracted by those two things, or by those things, rather than making my new tools, which I need every single time I start to uh, marble. When I do my uh, paper, I'll pull it off the water and then I will rinse it very gently into a tub and then I will put it over on the cardboard to drip. So there we go. There's my design. So I'm going to grab a sheet of the paper. This is my paper. It has different texture on either side. One side is, I can't see if I, if somebody's commenting. It's my, oh wait, here. Come on. There's comments. Yay. Hello, hello, I see Brenda. And I see Joni and Lisa, hey Lisa, and Sherry, Angela, hey. So now it's amazing when you put the, push the right button, you can see things. So I, am, I could probably fit two sheets of paper on here, but I'm not going to. But I was gonna say this paper is kind of smooth on one side and it has a texture. And because I am who I am, I like the textured side. And there it is. Oh. I'm gonna kick the bucket here on Good Friday. So now I'm gonna put this up here and then I'm just going to I really need to make some new size because it's pretty runny. It seems to be okay for this. We will see how the, um, and I'm just very gently rinsing this paper. We will see what the canvas does. It's probably not the best thing to do to do some experimenting when I don't have fresh size, but I'm going to do it. I would just love it if you could sprinkle out this video. Do you think someone else may enjoy watching?
I'll put some uh, newsprint down. Anybody have any suggestions for the next um, for the next sheet of paper? I'm always open to color suggestions. ghost prints myself. There's, I've had some prints that would have been really cool. I love it when I'm at shows and my customers will make something and I haven't been taking paper to my shows but I will now that I have these wonderful um, rice papers. And I will be pulling, well, assuming we ever get to go have events again, I will be pulling some uh, ghost prints. So it, it was an absolutely beautiful day here. I think it was like 76 on the way home. I had a sweater on. I was working in the office all day. You just start freezing to death. But I was suddenly like a hundred degrees. I was melting in the car. I had the AC on and everything. That looks pretty good. I opened a new water bottle to rinse the papers with and of course, I turned around and nearly kicked it over. Yeah, I thought I saw a little bit of that purple right there. All right, now what color do I want to use? I just don't know. How about let's do some greens. Oh, yeah. Let's do some greens and black. I don't have a metallic in this paint. I think I will put down this green as the base and then I'll put some um, white, drop that on as an accent color along with the other, the other green. Woo! That really wanted to come out quickly. We don't use greens very often. I've been all about pastels, whoops, recently. I love the bright colors, but something about a pastel right now just feels appropriate. Got home and uh, brought the last few things out of the storage bedroom. And then I um, hung my Easter wreath. I'd forgotten that it's already April 2nd. So I thought I'd better get it out there since this weekend is Easter. Now that I don't have small children in the house, I kind of forget about all that fun decorating stuff. And I'm so involved in doing fun things like this. I just shook everything. So I take the lid off and there's just bubbles. That's funny, this green kind of wants to sink a little bit. Let's 
let's see. Oh, that's definitely not the right green. Just double checking. I'm just going to drop this one in a corner. Yeah. Come on. Back out of there. That's definitely not the one that I needed. I've had, um, this is the different brand of green. I didn't have it labeled. I had it in the put aside bin though, so I should have known better. So we'll just avoid that spot when we're moving around here. And I was going to pop a little bit of white on there. That's a prime example of what can happen if you mix paint brands. At least that's what happens to me. The one will totally, I've seen it take over the entire tank. Just because it's the wrong brand. The way this darker green was sinking, I thought perhaps that I had grabbed the other one. But it just truly could be that my size is kind of old. There's some white. Now let's put in a little bit more of this green. I have the paper that I made with the shamrock. It's actually that tumbler is glittered and ready to be um, epoxied. I have like four tumblers that are ready for epoxy if I just get to it. It's nice. I don't have to use a little, um, I'll still use my epoxy tent, but I won't need my a um, little heater in there now that it's warmer. We're supposed to have almost 80 degrees again tomorrow. It's wonderful. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm just doing another sheet of paper so I can easily avoid the corner over here where I tested that other paint. I am, um, if you didn't watch my live, let's see, when did I do that? I did that, I think I just, I didn't do it live. I just came on air, I just um, set up and I did a little marbling um, the other day and I marbled two stemless wine glasses. And there we go, piece number two. There's that one. Oh, hold on a minute. I plugged my battery charger in, but I didn't plug the battery charger into the phone. So one moment, please. Sometimes I wonder about me. It's gonna jiggle. There we go. Let me check to see if it moved too much. Oh, not too bad. There we go. Gosh, I wanted, I made sure to bring that out so I didn't have that problem and then I still forgot. Okay. So again, there's the green and I'll rinse it really quickly. sheet of 
paper. I bought a new um, little stand to hold my papers after they're marbled, but did I remember to assemble it before this? No. So it's in there leaning against my pie safe waiting for assembly. I was so worried about eating before I came live. Well, large family members getting on. I hope they're all settled in nicely. Right, just a little bit right on the edge. One of these days I may just get some... Uh, just blank newsprint, and then everything that comes out would be a ghost print, and you can kind of save whatever looks cool. Anybody have any big weekend plans? I'm going to go all out and get my toes done tomorrow. So excited. Papers. What do I want to use? Oh, I just can't decide. It's so... This is what we'll do this time. Scoot over everybody. I guess I could be bold and put some of these away. My water is so runny. It doesn't smell bad yet, though. This kind of gets a bad odor to it once it starts turning. noticed on my tank lately <clears throat> pardon me that the uh, the color doesn't want to go all the way up to these two sides it will on these opposite ends but not here I think that's kind of interesting
that's the wrong paint. I need to identify them all. I now use um, electrical tape to keep my paints separate, different colors of electrical tape. But I haven't always done that. Oh, I know that for sure is not one. Oops. Oopsie doodles. Okay, right, we'll put this in here. So this is a mishmash of different paints. Oops. be interesting to see what happens when I print. But I think two of these are different. Everything's full of bubbles. I wonder if we're gonna have like little, I don't know, like like the trails of jet leaves behind in the black, because I can kind of see it wanting to have a few edges in a couple places and see how that purple, I don't know if you can tell, the purple is all carried away. I am not gonna use the tools, I'll just use my regular skewer on this and see what happens. Oops, hit the bottom, caused bubbles. All right, let's see what happens. Last piece of paper that I'm printing tonight. Try to avoid the bubbles that I created. I just love the way that takes the paint. It's so satisfying. There's a lot of teal on here, so let's see how it looks when I rinse it. Yeah, it definitely appears to have, um, that it doesn't work well together for me. throwing that piece of paper away because the, the teal is running very the black looks nice but the teal is just running right off the sheet and the only thing I can contribute or attribute that to is dropping two different kinds of paint on one another so we'll see if I end up keeping that one I doubt it 
So now let's clean the tank again, and then I'm gonna attempt something that may be way above my art skill. But we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, that's just, I think that's very interesting with that, the teal wanting to come off that paper. I have, with that uh, paper I just used, I have not had any colors want to run off. But I did it today. First time for everything, right? Is anybody following college basketball, the big dance? So far, my team is still in. So everybody cheer for the Gonzaga Bulldogs. So excited. I just hope they continue to actually play. And hopefully we can take it all the way this year. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. Oh, here, I have this little half sheet. I'll use that. out fairly clean. Okay, so now let me put these paints away because I'm definitely using the other paint this time. Okay, I'm nervous. Let me grab a drink real quick. Get rid of the bubbles. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, springtime in Idaho. My nose is, I've taken my allergy medicine, but my nose does crazy things. I am a person, once I start sneezing, I have to sneeze a lot before I'll stop. I've sneezed for like 15 minutes straight. So I hate to sneeze. It's exhausting. Oh, you know what I want to do? And would you look at that? Remember when I just mentioned that my sides were pushing in, they wouldn't go all the way, but this is a different brand of paint and it's going clear out to the edges. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. And this is just a little bit of off white. Oh, 
you know what I want to try. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. How about a little metallic gold? This is canvas, so it, it probably isn't going to work. I, I bet it's not going to work. Hi, Deborah. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Because it's canvas. All right. I'll wait. Dang it. I got excited for a minute thinking it was paper, but it's, it's canvas, so it's not going to work. Angela, you still on here? What are your thoughts? Oh, and you know, the other night I was trying to remember um, Chalk Couture is what I did on, I took a transfer and I put my initial on the tumbler, the first tumbler I marbled, uh, marbled directly onto the tumbler. Gosh darn it. I know better than to drag the tool. Okay, this is kind of just going to serve as my background, <laughs> assuming this goes correctly. It could go awry at any moment. I haven't, I used to watch these videos all the time about how to do this, but I haven't watched in a while. And so I'm going off of memory. So if we have, if it goes horribly bad, we'll just wing it. I might just end up cleaning this off and starting again. It okay. Right lid. This is the right lid. Oh, I'm nervous. Sorry, I'm concentrating here. Oh, I wish you could feel my heart pounding.
I just about dropped my uh, tool into the water. I apologize that I'm getting my head in here. I'm doing this and it may not even stick to the canvas. All right, let me get the caps back on the paint before they end up on the floor. My uh, garage floor is very colorful already, but it does not need anything added to it. All right. Again, I have not practiced this in quite some time. Oh! That was the tiniest little drop. Okay, we will just do this, see if we can get some out of it. I never can do that very well. So let's try. I should have remembered to look at a video. I could have looked at a video as I was eating my dinner. We'll see if we can salvage this. This is kind of a practice piece anyway. I need to close up my paint one more time. Wow. supposed to be a tulip. It does not look very tulip-like right now, but we'll see if this comes, if it even sticks to the canvas. Are you ready? I'm nervous. I'm leaning on this side where it's dripping. All right, let's see what happened. Oh, the flower itself didn't even come out. 
but the rest stayed on. I'm just missing the flower, the pretty flower. The leaves did okay. Well, bummer. So that I should have, when I placed it down, I think maybe when I went like this, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't catch it. It got a little bit of it. Darn it, I have another one though. And this may rinse off and I can try again, but that was my big experiment for the day. I wanted to do a tulip and I know what I did wrong with the tulip, so I need to try again. But the other canvas is not prepped. It takes quite a while to prep these canvases. So I only did one because I'm not very good, at, obviously, at canvas yet. Oh, that was fun. Boy, I was nervous, though. I don't mind messing up in front of uh, my live audience. I, that's the only way I can get better is to continue to try and practice. I haven't rinsed that yet to see if it's going to stay or just rinse right off. Now before, um, <laughs> then the last of the flower just came off on the newsprint. Before when I tried this, it just kind of fell right off and it doesn't seem to be doing that. This canvas also had a couple black spots. I have, oh, that's what I forgot to get at the store. I have, um, I grabbed my sanding block that I used for um, tumblers. Yes, do not use those on your canvases because it leaves a black spots. What I'm going to do is slide this out. I'm going to grab the funnel and empty this so I can then move the, um, the tumbler one over so you can see. All right, so we've had two successes and two not so much. I mix all of my water in three gallon jugs. So I just always empty it right back in to the jug from which it came. All right, so let me get these paints put away. Oh, I wanna do it again right now. Hi, Holly. I'm kind of bummed that it didn't work out, but that's okay, because that'll give me a chance to go back and watch um, the videos are very difficult to find, but I'll see. I think I've saved them, and then I'll try again. Next Friday, I'll, I'll, pre I'll prep another um, canvas, and then I'll try that again next week. I also have another idea I want to try. So, I'm never one who is short on ideas. That's the drain plug saying, please give me more water. Look how pretty the um, tank is. So we could see the teal that I said was, was uh, sinking. There's the teal, the purple, and the green, and even the white sunk. Any paint that goes back into the jug it won't hurt anything when I pour it back into the tank. I may end up um, mixing new. It's about time for some fresh. All right, I'll clean that out better later. Just gonna put the drain plug back on and set this thing aside. There is that. So let me put the big 
tools away. We won't be needing it for this. I spent um, part of my brief lunch today looking at this is heavy. Looking at um, oh, what are they called? Oh, those storage container. workshops, how they had converted those storage container things that they come on the ship, those things. Well, I can never think of words. Words are not always my friend. I was looking at them this afternoon and now I can't remember what they're called. Okay. So, in the theme of pastels, I did one kind of like this the other day, but it hadn't been prepped properly, and I didn't like the way it turned out. And we're going to try the um, metallic gold. And so I did... The one that I didn't like, I cleared, or I... Uh, Wash the paint off as best I could. But it, it's still, you can kind of see it on the surface. So it needs to be sanded and then repainted and then I'll start over with it. So in order to get that, see if that gold will show, I put a lot in there. I'm still not 100% sure. We could have more fails today than we have successes. Um. <laughs> this one needs to be thinned a little bit more. I call this the boob look. When it does that and it takes the center a while to disperse, I call it the boob look because it looks like boobs to me. So that one's going to need some time to settle. I have a friend who, when she does her marbling paint, she actually tests them at the time she's mixing them. That's so brilliant. Me, of course, I wing it. See, this one isn't quite so boobish. A little bit, but I can see it dispersing. I can't really see that purpley one dispersing. I can see some bubbles right here, though. See, that's how it's supposed to look. I'm going to put in a little bit more gold. Again, it might not work, but it might. This is kind of a sea foamy green color. bubble. I'll have to keep all of these paints out and just add just a little bit more to it. Right, and I'm going to hit it once more with that gold paint. Lost my, lost my 
skewer. Come on. Just poking at some of these. I still have bubbles in here. Thank you for watching, Holly. All right. So one memento and I'll go get the tumbler. We'll see how this works. Experiments, experiments. You know what I might be able to do with that canvas? My brother is an artist and he could probably easily draw uh, the head of a I see a little bit of sparkle in there. Whether it stays or runs off remains to be seen. frogs and I had to get it just right so it didn't tip one way or the other. I see one of the purple boobs has, has left one dot on it. Yeah, I don't know. I may end up washing that one off too. So now let's clean this. So Good Friday so far is not a good marbling day. As you know, I need to get those bubbles off the surface. So this is what it's looking like. See, there's the purple dot. Whoops, I just dropped some paint in there. It's very, very faint. And that could easily be due to the kind of paint that I use. choose a different paint. Okay, round 
one too. This is my last one for tonight. I don't like these bubbles. They're just very tiny little bubbles. That's pretty, just those two colors by themselves. I think we'll do a couple more layers like that. how much stronger the, the pink is than the blue. All right, that should be enough. I think that's good. I'll be right back. Let's see how this does. All white. Again, I'm not seeing comments, so please don't think I'm ignoring you. Now we'll see if this works or not. Because it looks like there's a little excess paint on there. You see the blue kind of fuzzing into the pink. So I'm gonna dip it in the rinse water ever so gently. And now I'll set it to dry. No, I'm not going to like this one either. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like that one either. Look at the uh, first one. That was an experimental paint for me, and there's just not enough pigment in there. It's all just disappearing. So... That's it tonight. 
I had two sheets of paper that worked well. Woohoo! Some days with marbling, it's like that. And uh, there's just nothing you can do about it. And I'm, you know, I've been doing this for about four years, but I'm using a lot different surfaces than I'm used to using. So I don't think it's a failure, but it, it's a little disappointing. So I wish everyone a very happy Easter weekend. Um, enjoy your families if that's what you choose to, um, how you choose to spend your time. Um, stay safe and be blessed, everyone. Take care. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.